Uh, well, he's having to start from the third row of the grid because of this crash. Yeah, he absolutely sent it down uh, turn, turn seven. So we've seen loads of crashes there, but I mean, Marc Marquez there, a little bit optimistic on the corner entry. Way too much lean angle. Fortunately, he doesn't take, he's, he's actually sanding it that hard. He's, uh, he's way up, like in front of Espargaro. And Espargaro is on a quite fine lap time attack here. So yeah, that, that actually, that incident started way back, uh, positioning themselves in the chicane. Espargaro sneaked in and kind of upset Mark. And you could tell Mark was behind, just really waiting for a gap and, uh, you know, to give him his money back, basically. Yep. Didn't go to plan though. And now he's got a lot of work to do in the races. So that's your Ducati story. It's Maverick Vinales actually that made the front row of the grid. Back map was back, of course, he's jumping ship to uh, KTM Tech 3 next year. I mean, it's, it's an extraordinary bizarre. story. It's absolutely bizarre. Uh, let's hear from your top three. I was struggling a lot to, to find the, the limit to, to do a pole position. I was always struggling a bit, but in the last races, I was, I was always a bit more uh, close. And finally, doing the pole position today is fantastic in front of this crowd that is always uh, fantastic. And, uh, and nothing, let's, uh, let's try to, to do the same this afternoon, try to be leading and, uh, and open a bit of, of gap, but it uh, will not be easy. But 